Welcome to Give Me Apps here at Mall, the number one independent app store. Today we're checking out Little Adventure on the Prairie by Infinite Mata. This is for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. The game is straightforward. Your job is to kill as many monsters as you can. You're going on a monster slaying spree. You have 12 levels and there are quite a few monsters in every level. In each level, your job is to knock them all out. Here we are, as you can see on the main screen here, stage one, you have levels one, two, three, and four. Every level is gonna test your timing ability, your ability to do this in as a uh, little amount of time as possible, and of course, your job to kill all the monsters. As you can see, our best timing was um, one minute, seven seconds. We did kill all 10 monsters, and this is our third play. We're getting the hang of the gameplay with this game. So we're gonna go straight on and start playing. Here it is, guys. Little adventure on the prairie. Let's do it. Press any key to continue. There's your monster. Gameplay is straightforward. You can move right, you can move left, you can attack, you can jump. There's your life meter. You're gonna pick up some potions along the way to increase your um, lives or to increase the uh, amount in your life meter so you can stay in a little longer and hang around. And jump, attack, straightforward. And you need to move that sword as quick as you can. Maybe we're gonna jump. There's our first uh, potion. We got that. And once you get the hang of this, this is, again, straightforward. But fun nonetheless, if you have a uh, kid, for example, who doesn't play a lot of video games and you want to get them, if you're a video game nerd, you want them to get the hang of uh, games like Zelda or have fun, like my first video game, this could fit that bill as well. There's our next potion. Here we are at Sack. Knock these guys out of there. We're only on level one. And as you can see, we have the hang of the game. We got the hang of it, which is why we're doing pretty well. And But mind you, this is just level one, right? It's only level one. Here we are. Our life meter is halfway done, but now we're in good shape because we received another potion that we picked up another one. There we are. Current timing, 113. All right, number of plays was four. And of course we have uh, 10 monsters defeated. Let's go straight on to the next level. And that's gonna put us in level two. Again, this is straightforward, guys. If you have played video games before, then this will be easy peasy, as they say. There we go, ah, we didn't move our sword fast enough. Jump up. The monsters are a little tougher in level two. And as you can see, this is not the first time we're playing this. Be careful, there we are. We're gonna have to pick up some potions as soon as we can. There we go, get these guys out of here. Yes, sir, done. Those guys, yes, a potion, we needed that. We have a couple of chieftains hanging around here. See these guys with the feathers on their heads? You'll see a couple of them. They are a little stronger, they can knock you out faster. And yes, we got another potion. Now, of course, the first couple of times we played this game, we were not so successful just because we were getting the hang of the gameplay, but it is straightforward. And when I say getting ha the hang of the gameplay, we mean uh, moving your sword fast, right? Like we are now. Oh, didn't move it fast there, jump. Now, by the way, when you're, okay, not bad. We knocked out 11 monsters, current timing, 57 seconds. That was our best timing. And of course, that was level two. We're gonna go on to level three now and show you around. Press any key to continue. Very similar to level one in appearance. We're gonna try to get through this and then move on. Here we are. Look at our sword, by the way. You need to take a look at that. We're looking for trouble now. Now, you need to jump before you get to the edge of uh, these steps. Otherwise, you'll be stuck like we just were. And are again. There we are. Take a look at that. All right, things are, oh, look at that. A little different this time. The weapons do change. And you can fall all the way down like we did just now. We missed a couple of platforms. So be careful. Now look at that, guys. No bueno, as they say. We have to move back. Let's stop attacking. Ah, we have a monster there. There's a potion. Thank God. Heavens for that. Ah, we might lose a life here. We gotta move a little faster. And as you can see, look at that. Nice, and a blue potion. The blue potions will give you more lives. Or will increase your life meter tenfold. We're getting out of there. And take a look at that. There are more monsters down here. They're all over the place, and these are harder to kill. Look at that. Our life meter is hurting right now. We may lose it here, guys. There we are. We are killing monsters, though. 1.5 swords. And yes, a blue and red potion. 
That's going to keep us in the running for a little while. The monsters are tougher to kill in the third level and beyond. As you can see. Ah, there we are. Okay. Have we defeated all the monsters yet? Well, we'll only know once we get that dialogue box. That message. But uh, as you can see, there are more and more monsters coming at you. And yes, we did it! All 15 monsters. Our current time was the best time. This is the first time you played level 3. And that's why it says our number of plays equals 1. Guys, there are many levels you can choose from. This is Little Adventure on the Prairie. A fun game. A great first game for uh, those who are getting into the video game world. And if you are a seasoned video game player or a gamer, then this will be up your alley. Very simple, very straightforward, easy to play, easy to get around. And you're killing monsters all day. Guys, this is Little Adventure on the Prairie by Infinite Mata for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. This $2.99. Um, do check it out. You have fun. You are checking out our YouTube channel, the Give Me Apps YouTube channel. If you are a developer, check out our app store. It's the only app store that lets you keep 100%, the full 100% of your profits. And of course, there are in-app purchases you can check out if you are a developer and you have in-app purchases for your app. Um, of course, Give Me Apps will take care of that as well. We hope you enjoy this, guys. Uh, Till next time.